All right, everyone, and welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. We have made it another week, another week we are here. We are doing week five review, going into week six, episode five of the podcast. Yeah, that's way too many numbers for me, but whatever Matt said, I believe him. We know, we know. And as always, you guys know, it's your your host, Matt, a.k.a. Maticles, a.k.a. Vito King, a.k.a. Max McArdle, a.k.a. Lightning McArdle, a.k.a. McArdle Sandwich, good old Matty Chong. And then always, the most famous, Thug Dog. And as always, we got Lorenzo next to me. Yeah, it's your boy Lorenzo, aka Lolo Boss, aka That Boy, aka Slump Lord, aka The Big Cheech. And uh, we're here, we're here chilling, like Matt said. Week five going into week six. Feeling good, feeling good, feeling good, feeling good. So, man, can you tell me why we're wearing suits? That's a very good question. Very good question. I'm glad you asked, actually. So uh, first and foremost, we are reportedly about to get confirmation on going public with the, the podcast. So those, that's a good thing. But most importantly, it is the premiere of our very first movie since, you know, things have been popping off since the beginning. The number one podcast in the world, you know, so we are getting these getting out there really quick so we do have our first movie deal in the works and the trailer is out so yeah. it will be actually released later in the podcast we have been growing guys we have our own movie studio now uh the sponsors are lining up really as you'll see yes and uh, throughout the course of this episode actually, they have been yeah. very helpful they we couldn't have, we couldn't do it without them yeah and uh i haven't seen the movie yet the production team's been working on that um i hear it's this trailer is going to be nuts you guys don't want to miss it Yes, yes. So make sure you stay tuned. That will probably be shown at the very end of the podcast. Yeah. So make sure you stay into that. Of course. That's like a ride. You always got to, they make you go through the gift shop at the end. You know what I mean? Yes, like you guys, exactly, exactly. you guys got to watch this trailer at the end. So we are actually going to, I also do need to remind everybody as well, since people talked about it in the off season, but they didn't really uphold it recently. But I have started a daily draft Kings amongst, you know, all of our friends and anyone else who wants to get in amongst us. Um, nobody's been really joining. We got like 15 people in the league itself on DraftKings, but we only get about five people. I'm aiming for about yeah. 30 is what I'm aiming for. And but what's the buy-in for the just a dollar a week? And we're doing or sorry, a dollar per contest. And okay. it is I do one contest on Thursday for the Thursday night game, single game. Then I do one contest Sunday for the all the games uh, main slate. Then I also do one on Monday. The Monday okay. game, you know, captain style. So three chances a week to win, you know, a little bit of money. Yeah, so it's you been, it's been, some, it's been a couple bucks here, but if you know, if I get the twenty to thirty people and more, yeah. I'm not, I'm not limiting. I'm just, I'm, that could be a tank of gas. You never really yeah, know. That could be an, and an extra tank of gas per week is not bad. Yeah, man. yeah. And if you think you need to know a lot about football to do those, you actually don't, because our biggest winner so far is actually Big Germ. And the last time he drafted, he drafted. The last time he was in a fantasy draft, he drafted Maurice Jones, Drew over Adrian Peterson. So anybody can win here. Wow. Have you got into the DraftKings yet? I have not got into the DraftKings. I haven't got into any type of online betting at all, really. Um, not even like stock market type of stuff, which I kind of consider betting also. You know what I mean? Uh, I haven't gotten into any of that really, but um, it does intrigue me. All right, all right. So we'll see, we'll see. He, actually, Lolo said in here, if he get if we get thirty, if we hit thirty people in the contest, he will he will join himself. Yeah, if you, yeah, I gotta win at least a couple bucks. You know what I'm saying? Like, so if thirty people join this, then I'll join, making it thirty one, and he'll show uh, you. Yeah. He'll show you why he is the co-host. Yeah, for sure. So for all of you guys out there that doubt him, join up, and you'll see the wrath. Also, with that being said, too, I uh, a lot of only a couple people have been taking advantage of it, but I do go live into the Discord every Sunday at twelve thirty to answer any last minute fantasy questions you may have. Oh wow! So you know, Sean, Sean took advantage of it actually against me. We seen how that turned out. So so he asked you I'm, for advice against your own matchup. Yeah, and I gave it to him, and you see, you, we see how that turned out. We remember it uh, was uh, uh, very very bad for me. Yeah. 
So maybe don't accept uh, like chat requests from your opponent on. Well, like, that. you know, I, I would, I usually wouldn't, but you know, I'm not afraid. I'm here to help and have fun. So I feel, I feel like anybody that's playing against me needs all the help they can get. Right. So if you're playing mad, definitely tune in at 1230 on game day in the discord, in the discord, right? Yes, that is in for now. Currently just on the discord. We may go to somewhere else soon, but actually that is a perfect time to get into. We have started social media accounts on most of them. So if you, uh, we do have Twitter. We are Wookiees Bird Pod on Twitter. And we do we have, do have uh, TikTok as well. We are Wookiees Bird underscore podcast on TikTok. And that's also the same for Instagram as well. Would be those as well. So that is Wookiees Bird with a U, not Wookiees Bird with an E. Uh, as some people may have thought. Yes, yes, that is true. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. We will right, actually, man. yes, yes, and right. we will actually post it, the links in, of course, the video if it once, if and when it does go live, and uh, that we also are just simply Wookiees Bird Podcast on YouTube. Yeah. So hope whenever we do make our debut, you will be able to find the full podcast there. Hopefully, the 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 sensor panel can review our uh, videos quickly and approve yes, our videos. Yes, really, because guys, you know, this is a wild fucking podcast. You know, um, and we're trying. You know, we're trying to. Yeah, keep it. We're so trying to there's keep a lot fun. of things. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of things these uh, sensors, you know, are trying to nitpick. But I think I think we're good. We should be good moving forward. Yes, yes, and we do understand not everybody has time to watch the videos we do need it in podcast form so we are pretty soon will be on your podcast app whichever one you use whether it be apple google spotify we'll be there soon enough and we will let you know we're not sure exactly what we'll be at there but as soon as we get all that that figured out you guys will be the first to know Yep, so we'll have the audio only version of yes. the podcast you can put it on while you drive put it on while you work uh, put it on while you cook, whatever, really. Yes, yes. Or put it on while you watch it, and so then you get like just double the audio. It probably oh, is like, kind of like surround sound. Not only double the audio, that's like that. that's uh, double the, the viewership and listenership. Double for the viewership us, so also, very, yeah. Very just fucking play that shit. If you're not even listening, mute it. Whatever you want to fucking do, yeah. just play it. <laughs> you could always do that. Um, also, too, we will be, uh, as you guys know, we, you have seen us make some water bets on the on the show. We've also made a couple off the show. I am currently sitting 0-3 on the water bets. One has been posted, and from now on in the future, they will start being solely posted on Instagram. So if you do not follow us on Instagram, you will not be able to see those water bets from now on. Yep, that's Wookiesburg Pod also on Instagram. No, we are Wookiesburg underscore podcast on Instagram. Wookiesburg underscore podcast on Instagram. Exactly. So go check it out there. We already have one of our water bed videos posted. Yes, we do. That is right now yeah. we do for you guys. We did post the first one basically on all the platforms so you can see it across all of them. But like I said, I'm, we're trying something out and we're just going to post them strictly on Instagram. So. We'll yeah. see, and we're also testing out. We want everybody, when you're out there, anything you post about us, include the hashtag Wookiesburg Pod. Yeah, Wookiesburg Pod. Once again, Wookiesburg with a U, Wookiesburg Pod. Yes, we will include the hashtag. all spellings. You're actually, right now, you're going to see it. Right there. It's going to yeah. be there. All righty. I gotta tell you, I'm still, I'm really, I'm super excited for, for this movie, this movie trailer coming up. I'm super excited. I'm glad to hear. Glad to the hear. The critics are going wild. Really, the critics, they're already talking about Oscar bait. They are. They are. And already. that actually reminds me, because the, you know, our main, our main sponsor, the plug, shout out. Shout out to A man. Shout out to the plug. You made us forget. And uh, no, to the plug. one of everybody's favorite segments. But uh, what are you smoking on? I happen to be smoking on that good old fashioned Girl Scout cookie, my friend. Ooh, nice one, nice one. He's going with the repeat. I don't going blame him. The repeat. That is a good one. This smells. The, had I already smelled Girl Scout cookie on this before? Yeah. Maybe okay, but <laughs> I was actually going to take the Girl Scout cookies from him and use it myself, <laughs> but because we have been pre planting our weeds like we're supposed to, we knew what to do this time. 
So yeah, but that I gotta sense. tell you, listen. <laughs> <laughs> As you see why he went back to it again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. This Girl Scout cookie, I got to tell you, I know there's a mad strain of the week, suited up strain of the week coming up. But so all I'm going to say about this is this smells right now. This definitely smells like a cookie of some sort. All right. All right. Yeah. It, it, I do have to agree with him on that one. And over here we have, this one is a nice one for you guys. As he said, you will see this on my suited up train. And we have here, we have Nakaho. Very, very nice one. Nice. Again, number one sponsor, The Plug. The Plug. Hey, man, don't leave home without The Plug, really. What's up, guys? And welcome to Maddie's suited up train of the week. As you guys know, this week's strain is Naka, which is actually a nice little indica dominant hybrid. That's a cross between Knockout OG and Paiho. For those of you who have not, I've actually had both of those, pretty good, them, both of them. And this would be a incredibly dank OG with a bit of grape flavor. Nakaho is a gassy, fruity, and pungent strain that will make your mouth water. It's high as not for the faint of heart, as it will swallow you up into a state of relaxation for hours before you are just knocked out completely. And until next time on Maddie's Suited Up Strain of the Week. That is true. That is true. And usually this would be the time to talk trades, but what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Oh, I know what they're doing. They're slacking. So you know what it's time for? What's that? Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. There's What's no the longer news? vetoes in my league. What? No longer vetoes in my league. Everything will be left up to the commissioner. Yo, what? No more vetoes. Just no let, way. Let the trades fly. I is want this to real? Is this real? Fly. Yo, is this? No, -uh, no way. Oh yes. This is decided. really breaking news. I didn't even know this news, folks. Wow. No, the producers are going crazy in my ears right now. But yes, I'm doing it because, man. Wow. It's week five. We're going on the week six, and we have what? Two trades on the board. So the, starting now, you're saying there are no more vetoes no for more trades vetoes in this league? for trades in this league. So the trade, will these trades still be reviewed? I will review them myself, and I, hopefully you respect my decision. Mostly every trade will probably go through unless it is uh, collusion, real collusion, which I know how to look for as much as I make fun of people and we joke about it all the time. Wow. I have been around. I have played in. As stated before, a lot of fantasy leagues, and I have seen it all. Speaking of a lot of fantasy leagues, okay, I'm getting news from our stats team right now. The last time there was a rule change like this, we got to go all the way back to the pre-internet days of fantasy football, when people used to draft using draft boards without him putting it in the computer afterwards. Self-scoring systems, you would have to tally your team up every On week. the papers. We're talking On 1998 the was the last time there was a rule change of this magnitude in the middle of the season. That's what I'm getting from our stat folks. And that season, just so you get uh, a picture of what we're talking about here, there was a 65% increase in trades per week after they did that. That was also in week four of that year. All right. That is good to know. That is good yeah. to know. Again, I don't know how you would have that information if it was before the internet, but yeah, somehow. Our, like I said, we have the best, the, the hardest best working stats team. team out there. Yeah. So again, thank you guys. So like I said, you heard it here. I'm doing it. Doing it. No more vetoes. Yes. And uh, that brings us right into some news from around the league. Other leagues, sorry. And uh, this one is going to be a fun one. And uh, we are actually going to just bring in John's Dynasty League, which is in a app called League Tycoon, 
which okay. everybody hates. It is the most forgot about fantasy league that there is. Unfortunately, we we, we have high hopes for it. I, we do think it has potential. It's just we think the app is uh, doing it harm and uh right yeah it's uh it's I so have, forgot about that i have i have acquired the the biggest four free agents in the past two weeks i got them all on my team wow i have not used uh this app so i'm not too familiar with it but um that wow what well, you just said was yes pretty, well pretty wild. for those of you who don't know it he wanted a contract dynasty league which is where everybody is assigned to a contract when you acquire them whether it be so i picked up saquon barkley for 67 dollars okay he takes up 67 dollars of my 200 and if i wanted to sign into a contract his salary would increase 25 percent each year right so that works with every player and this would was the only app you found that does all that for you and 67 dollars out of how much of your overall total budget do you 200 Oh, yeah, that was, it was 67 was what I spent. Okay. On. Because it really, it's all dependent upon what you're comparing it to, right? You got to compare it to what the market value is really. And if you're working with $200, that's a big investment. It was, it was. It's, uh, it's a not, big investment. It's not, uh, we don't know how it's going to pay off yet. But, uh, it's, you know, as I was saying, the app itself is the only app that does all that math for you. But I do have reports from the producers that, uh, he is going to change out of that app next year and just do the hard work and due diligence himself with the help of his best friend. Right. So there's going to be some sort of record keeping involved in yes. this. But he is switching to Sleeper, which is a right. very, very fast growing app. And I, uh, I'm pretty sure he got the idea from me because yeah. I am too probably switching my league to the Sleeper app next year. Yeah, so listen, I haven't used this Sleeper app either, but that sounds something I'd be more inclined to, being the slump lord. Uh, Sleeper does sound like something I would probably w- w- would join at some point. Oh, man, it is very, very – it's a very, very good app. Very right. Good. So, okay. Uh, I'm probably going to switch. The only – it's just – well, we're we're still in the we're still in the works with the, the sleeper. Still a sleeper, is what yeah, you're saying. Exactly, exactly. We will. We're gonna see. But time to wake up, buddy. The main reason we came over to John's league was to point out last week we did have he still pulled off the win by one point. No, sorry, by thirteen points. <laughs> but we did have Sean, whose team name is Southern Comfort. <laughs> With a picture of uh, Justin. Uh, okay, okay, you know all Justin, right. right? Uh, just okay, Justin. Just so he had. I do not recall what his team name was, but it was something to do. With is that him. a picture of Sean? That is. Or a is that a picture of, of John Fogarty? Who is that? It is both. Okay. It is I actually a picture of Bo Burnham. Bo Burnham. Yes, and for uh, those of you who want to see, you cannot see it, but I'll post it for you right here. Boom. Right you here. See picture. Right there. Do you see it? Look at it right there. You tell us who that is. Yeah. And uh, sorry to get back to back on track. I just had to point out he did. Like I said, luckily still got the win, but he did in fact start. We have reports Alan Lazard over Antonio Brown. Ooh. Yes, yeah. Yes. Probably not recommendable uh, in any way, shape, or form, really, but. It happened. Yes, yes. And it was it was very fun to watch and Yeah. And uh before we leave this league, just want to point out apparently uh I don't know if you know him, a good friend Mike, used to live with John. Yes. He is actually killing it in all dynasty leagues. Oh wow. Yes, yes. And usually he's uh pretty at the bottom of regular leagues, but it seems dynasty Ooh. may be his thing. Yes. Oh, wow, that's that's cool to hear. That's good to hear. So, a quick shout out to Mike for being. He's just doing good all around, huh? I mean, Tampa Bay won the Super Bowl last year. They're killing it, man. Yes, yes, and he did, of course, text me because I am a Dolphins fan. So he did text me. Yeah. Actually, yeah. with that being said, as a Dolphins fan, that brings us into my slump, bitch, <laughs> motherfucker of the week. And that is the Dolphins O-line. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, 
the picture is going to take up this whole screen. You won't even be able to see us anymore. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? Is Keep that, it there. Hold wow. on. Keep it there. Keep it there. Wow. And yes, that's for all those people who I had to remind that I am not biased. If my team does something sleep as fuck, I will point it out for everyone to yeah. join me. Yeah. So um, that's not a good look for them, right? I don't know if you want to show the picture just one more time quickly right now, just right there. Um, yeah, that's not really like a good look right there, right? So what do you think? Looking at this picture, man, obviously we're not like coaches in any way. We're not uh, any type of analyst in any way. What do you th think is going on in this well, moment? Right first now? of all, he already, you see right here, Jesse Davis already switched his league to sleep. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. yeah. And what then, about Buddy Man just here at the top? Just over here, straight chilling. Uh, boy AJ. This dude's having a cup of coffee out here. So yeah, you know, he, he, he's here. waiting. He, I think he's waiting for the bus, man. I think he's just he's ready to go home. You think he's ready to leave? To me, he looks like he's ready to leave the fucking team. This doesn't bus. seem. He's this seems like bus, standing there waiting. This has to be after the whistle. He's waiting for a bus in the middle of nowhere. By the way, this has to be after the whistle. There's no way this is. Well, if you if you actually look closely, the quarterback still is holding the ball. Wow. So let me uh, wow. let me show it one more time for him really quick There's so you can see. Right there. Yep, there it is. Yes, it's yes. definitely. Oh, I'm so wow. sorry. Oh, our producers hate us. They're making we're making this one hard for them. Yeah. But once our producers see the picture, they will be they it's will just be satisfied. A drag and drop, man. <laughs> so this is crazy. This is crazy. So uh, yeah, I definitely see how you would get these guys as the what was it slump bitch of the week? What was it? I don't know what it was, but. <laughs> Get these guys fucking something, man. Man, get it together. This is a good one. This is a good one. Get it together, guys. You don't want to end up as Matt's slump, uh, slump buddy man of the week. Yeah, we'll just yeah, we'll call it fucking. Yeah. Let's just keep look. it simple and call you it. You thought Shaq and the Fool was bad? This shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to be on this, this list. You do not want to be here. So it's not even going to be a weekly segment. This this isn't even weekly because it's so bad. It's so bad, yeah. But so I have to, as being an objective observer of this, I do have to point out, weren't you touting the Dolphins' uh, defense earlier this season, right, as fantasy starts? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. So what, what do you have to say in terms of, I would assume that the pressure on the defense is increased when you have an offense that's this bad. That's exactly why the the pressure on the defense is increased because we're, again we are still playing with our backup quarterback, our starting quarterback, yeah. Tua Tango Bailoa, right. is one and zero. In case you forgot. Okay. So that's true. That's you true. Know, like, you know, Jacoby may be the best backup in the league, but he's still a backup. Yeah, I don't even. I don't even. Um, <clears throat> hey Jacoby or anything. I uh, as a Patriots fan, I really like Jacoby um, Brissett. We know but uh, man, yeah, that photo that we just showed with the O line—that's pretty crazy. It was, it was, and uh, like I said, you know, hopefully, hopefully <clears throat> things get clicking, and uh, we are getting reports that Tua will be back. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good for the Dolphins. That is, that's what we, that's all we need back, and we'll see what happens from there. Yeah. All right. With that being said, we're going to get into our weekly recaps. I know I've been trying to postpone it this week, but it has to be done. We're going to start off, of course, as usual, <clears throat> the matchups of the week with none other than Lambeau Calrissian, which is Matthew. Back. I am back. As you, you somehow remembered me. Talking good about the Dolphins' defense, but did not remember. I Lambo Calrissian is back in the flesh. Returned. Is back in the flesh after my one week of uh, out there <clears> trying <throat> to catch cheaters as Joey Greco. Uh, right, 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 right. And now that you're back as Lambo Calrissian, we see that you're back to your losing ways once again. Yes. Well, I actually made sure to change the name back after I lost. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, I see. I see what you're saying. And you lost to none other it, than I put it yes. in lowercase letters to make sure that I right. So that it's off. a bit easier to you're not like screaming it out like uh, Lambo Calrissian. It goes back to le capital once my team gets back to where they need to be. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Um, you lost to none other than uh, ACDC BNB, um, and 
lost is really putting it lightly. It's a, this is a pretty bad matchup here. It is very bad, and it's crazy because how bad it looks. There was actually a point Monday night that uh, there was a very small glimpse in Monday night where my gap was about to be a five-point difference. Wow. And then everything just went the other way, even though even at that five point difference, I still wouldn't have won because it would have been, I needed a lot yeah. of miracles. But I do want to point out and remind everyone, and actually, I don't know if you know this, but stats team coming in again with the yeah. good one. Here we go. Did you need Casey did break the record for the most points ever scored in my league. What? Yes. Casey, yes. Congratulations. congratulations. Congratulations to you and Washington DC BNB. This is a crazy milestone. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow. And uh, it's funny because he did beat his own record. He was the original points leader. So, hats <clears throat> off, my guy. Yeah. And I mean, looking at this box score, uh, I believe it because right off the bat, he started off with a 60 point performance by Lamar Jackson in this league. Which, yeah, you got Tom Brady on the other end of this, really scoring 58 points. That's really neck and neck, which is really crazy. But then you see uh, what Even I, like I, I, I will I will keep giving praise to Casey, but since you didn't see live matchups, but I, Tom Brady, played first, and I had that 58 points from Tom Brady. Yeah. And when I woke up Monday morning and, to, and before Monday night's came, crashing game, down really No, hard. not even. Before uh, Lamar Jackson even played, I already had lost. Right. Right, right. And Lamar Jackson, as you see, just put on. Casey's got like a handful of players over 30 points. This is pretty, it pretty was, bad. It was man. very pretty amazing. Bad. I loved it. and But it also does uh, make it easy for me. And, man, if only I didn't play the highest scoring player of the week, maybe I would have won. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Simple, simple. So we are going to get right down to the next one. And I must remind him to scroll slow. Yep. Yep. We are here at the second matchup of the week. Matt, why don't you walk us through? Oh, really quick. Yes. Right before we get into this one, I do want to call out that me and you were both wrong on our picks last week. We both did pick me to win. Oh, yeah, we did. So we did. That is. We did. We were wrong on that one. So thanks for proving me right. I mean, yes. wrong. I and mean, again, also kind of right. Man. And again, again, a reminder people, please give us your picks on here. We want to see what you guys think. Yes, you do need to place your votes in the Yahoo Fantasy Football app in the league. You can go to the matchup page and you can vote for who you think yes, is going to win. Is. Any matchup, not just yours, really. Uh, we want to see these votes so we can start you know, uh, going through the percentages live for the current week and uh, see what people and are see thinking. See what people really. are thinking. It'll yeah. be very cool, I think. So please help me out. And see Helps us out. Is. Why don't you walk us through this one, man? We got Biting Quam's here, 175. Uh, Angel has not won two weeks in a row, if I'm not mistaken. She did, so she she did take is. down the uh, household of the podcast team, half of the team. Yeah. Two weeks in a row. She took yeah. me down, and then she took uh, my lovely girlfriend down. Yep. And, yeah, man, uh, Terry with Matt Top, John Bottom, um, unfortunately on the bottom once again. Yes, uh, yes. It's starting – on. Uh, it's starting to become a familiar place for this team. Being yes, at the it is. Bottom she right. is. She has. I have received word though. She is not yet worried. She's starting to tingle, but she knew. <laughs> she knew that. She knew that it was going to be a, a rough one, but she she yeah. knows that her people are finally starting to come out. And uh, we did get reports that if she would have just stuck with the team that me and you told her to stick with, mm -hmm. that she would have won. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well. Maybe. I think we just proved our record's pretty good, man. So, you know, our record's not should... good. Just you got to just listen to the small talk. And... Yeah, numbers are just numbers. You know what I mean? All right. So me and you both picked Terry to loot to win. So again, so far on last week, since we're finally officially keeping record, um, we are both zero two. Zero two. Zero yep. two. Zero two. two. And so we have right here next matchup. Alt Zaddy, a good one, actually a sponsor of today's podcast. Sorry. A sponsor of last week's podcast. Yeah. Uh, taking on Raja Ghoul's super team. Yep. 
And Rachel Gould's super team once again proves to be the Rachel Gould's super slump team. And they are one and four now. Um, they're venturing into Matt Top, John Bottom territory here. They're pretty bad. Um, and yeah, Alt Zaddy just taking care of business, really. And he does actually have a spot over here. John's team is pretty much did pretty fucking good. Hats off. I do see 44 points from the tight end position. I'm calling it here. That might be the highest points you have from a tight end all year. Could be, man. You I never so. really know. Grunt and actually, that spot them. down here, um, his linebacker, Isaiah Simmons, straight sticking. That boy always sticking. Didn't really stick like he usually does this week, but he is actually going to be mentioned later in the <clears> starts <throat> of the week. So not much more to say about this one here. You got anything? Yeah. I mean, good effort by Rachel Gouli. You got um, Nick Chubb putting in some points, your defensive positions putting in some points, but just like couldn't really get too much. And uh, actually, this is going to be the first one where I picked Sean and you picked John. So you yeah. are now one up on me. Let's go. So here we go. Let's start off the trend. And the official fact keeping for those out there who wanted us to, it's here. He is now. Yeah. We are now on the record. He is now one and two. And I am now 0 and three. Yeah. And. With that being said, let's get right into our next one, with which is Robbie versus House, who has not, who, who did not give us a good one this week, and just left us with the, uh, I think we went with uh, porno, 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 fuck, sushi house. Yeah, this is now gonna be um, pretty hard name to pronounce. Now we do have, uh, you know. Another very hard team to pronounce, which I think is something like B-E-T-B-N-B -B -B or something like that. Yes, yes. But this, like, man, I really just want to say, like, triple X house, but it's not triple, it's quadruple, but quadruple is too big of a yeah, word. You so know maybe, what I mean? he's, maybe he's Vin Diesel Quad and house. Ice Cube combined. Oh, my God. Vin Cube. Vin Cube. That's a new one for you. Ice Diesel. Oh, that's an even better one for you. Yeah. Diesel Ice. Diesel, and I think then that's a weed strain. How do you have the most unique name in the league going up against the most basic name in the league? Yeah, and you what a you match just came out on the bottom. Yep, and uh, so you know, Robbie pulling off another good win here. I do like it. Good win, good win, Robbie. So yep. you need to change your name, and we see your boy Kyle Pitts finally showed out. Congrats, congrats. For sure, good job starting Cordell Patterson. That man is on fire. You didn't look, did you? Oh shit, I'm on the wrong one. Don't look at mine. All right, so that one actually, we both picked Rob to win that one. Yeah. Somehow, even with his shitty name. But uh, so now I got my first win, baby. So you're now one and three while I'm two and two. Very good, very good. We won't we won't keep keeping every single stat, but every week oh, we'll yeah, keep we them all. No, I mean, we're going to hold them all the stats, but we don't need to count them out. I already time. forgot them. <laughs> all right. And we have, you know, usually we do save your boys for last, but this time we're doing it a little bit different. And the Straw uh, Hat Pirate Squad, baby. And they are, man, oh, man, they are doing Big it for win. you. Big win. And you see it, man. You see it. They, uh, you, you see. Take it from me. I'm the CEO, damn it. Yes, they are on a three-game winning streak. They did three it. Three-game winning streak. And again, I'm going to say it. Even though they only got him zero points, I think he got his win because he held on to that Dolphins D. Yeah, that Dolphins defense really helped anchor this team. And by anchor, I mean bring down their average. But good win either way. Still won by Technically, they didn't points. bring it down. Technically, they just kept it the same. Kept it the same. It could have been negative. You're right. Yes, exactly, exactly. 
And I do see actually Michael somehow got my start of the week from last week. And he actually, I do have reports. He was, again, my only good start of the week. Yes. Was my defensive position and my brother right. Adam. Right. And uh, shout out again, Michael, keeping Miles Gaskin in the lineup when yeah. we have live from our stats analyst that reportedly 88% of Miles Gaskin owners had him on the bench. Wow. Wow. I still got to say something here, and I want to be very objective. I don't want to sound like a homer, but we're going to have to have a serious talk, me and my head coach, about this Jacoby Myers still being on this starting lineup. Now, as you know, we did have our first in-person meeting, me and my head coach with Straw Hat Pirates, and we had a good discussion, a very good discussion, and I'm glad that we came out with the win this week. Right, but uh, I did recommend Jacoby Myers see the bench. Yes, and, and, and uh, uh, again, as we would have with Terry, we did tell Michael he needs to start Marquez Callaway instead of Jacoby. He would have won much more handily had he started Marquez Callaway. Yes, he, would, he wouldn't be biting his fingers right now, hoping yeah. no stack corrections. But then again, I did mention J.D. McKissick to him, which only got one point. So he would have lost had he listened to that part of my advice. And damn it, that's why I like this team. He's got the balls to make the decisions he needs to make. All right, all right. And with that being said, you can just go ahead and click on it for us. We do have our last and final <laughs> matchup. <laughs> yes, yes. Shout out to my boy. I'm <laughs> sure he didn't see it until this moment. <laughs> and I did have reports that uh, so he yeah. uh, changed his name because of uh, you talking about him manifesting. You were manifesting a loss for him the way he was manifesting his wins off of people's sleep. <laughs> so, he said before, so he did say he did say quote unquote uh, we're gonna we're gonna see which one what, what happens first. We're gonna man either his loss gets manifest first or your hair gets your hairline gets manifest first. Right. So well, that is the report from him. Yeah, you better get a hold of some voodoo doctor or some shit because this hair ain't coming back it's ever, not. baby. So as we see, that is why I saved the best for last. And uh, and wouldn't you know, he did manifest a win there, Bob. He still is on top. Still somehow, some way. And uh, as you can yeah. see, he did have the points leader of the week with... Justin Herbert put up a whopping 61.82 points. He in my did. Lead. Crazy quarterback play here. And listen, guys, he won this by almost 30 points, right? And so I'm saying, where's Casey? Yeah, like for real, where's Where Casey? Is Which is Casey? actually James. But he won by almost 30 points, and he has a player with zero points that was on his starting lineup. How is this possible? You're telling me that if he would have started – really anybody on his bench but to be more specific you're telling me if he would have put like uh this guy that goes by the name of dylan from green bay uh in here he would have won by like 18 points like come on this is crazy 18 more points i really wish you didn't uh see his see what team that guy played for because that would have been a perfect who's that player oh yeah but i probably would have guessed green bay also he sounds like Play for Green Bay. Yes, yes. And when you do get a chance, since you don't know him, please get a picture of him standing next to Aaron Jones. Okay, I will do. Will do. Actually, since our producers aren't working hard enough, here's the picture of. Uh, here's the picture right here of Aaron Jones standing next to. Adrian wow, Jones. what a picture! What a picture! Thank you for showing me that. All right, so now we are finished with our. And so as we see, uh, Chris got it done. Even with a couple of, couple of people on his team not performing, he's, he got a lot of people on his team that didn't perform and still got the win. I mean, this guy got 14 and a half points from his defensive player. I mean, come on, folks. And another 14 from his kicker. Are we serious? That is a nice one. All righty, so we shall conclude our weekly recap of week five. Actually, before that, though, 
me and you both picked Chris to win because, of course, we already knew he was going to manifest those wins. Yeah, and that's a free win for us, really. <clears throat> and uh, we do have uh, – I did pick Chuck. He did let me down. And uh, that is – I'm pretty sure I have a word from our producers. That was our water bet that was live on the air. So uh, you guys will, again, have to go to Instagram to see that. You are now 0-3 with water bets, if I'm correct. Yes, yes. You guys yes. missed one, and that would be the water bet on me and him playing each other in Chris's league. And he is, again, that one. So we haven't filmed that one yet, but when we do, you'll see that one on Instagram as well. If you've ever wanted to see Matt soaking wet, you're welcome. All righty, so since that, since our weekly recap is over, before I forget, we will get right into bonus time. Bonus time. And uh, last week actually was a tie, and we did not get a chance to do the tiebreaker. So what I will do is I will simply pour out my little bonuses right here, and I do have right here in front of me one person eligible for the bonus. Sorry for those of you who didn't remember, the bonus was the least single points from one starting player on your lineup, in your starting lineup, right? which this guy had Kenny Galladay. Yeah, we just mentioned it, zero points. Zero points from Kenny Galladay for Chris. Yep, zero who points is for Chris. getting folded up and put into the hat. Nothing in the hat. <laughs> And then we are going to, it's a two-way this time, and we have Michael, who again started that Dolphins D. Yep. So, hey, again, if he didn't start him, he wouldn't be eligible for this bonus. Exactly. Michael, winning even when he's losing. Yes, yes. And I do have reports from the producer that if he wins this bonus, he is giving it to his GM. We take our percentage off the top, baby. And Michael's going in, too. And, and there just to make sure there's no bias over here. They're jumping around. Jumping they're around. jumping around in there. And we're going to pick one. Drop it down. And we have Michael. We have Michael. Is, is the week five. Week, week five. It's $10 weekly bonus. Week five. Congratulations. Winner. Fuck you, Chris. I believe this is Chris's second time in the hat, and I do not believe he won either time. Yeah. All right, all right. So let's take these ones out, and let's put the bonuses all back in. All right. I don't think we have added any new ones. We're still riding with the same about 20, or no, about 17 that we've had in this hat. Yep. So we're going to shake them around. And Lorenzo, shall you draw out the week six bonus for us? The week six bonus will be... Largest margin of defeat. Largest margin of defeat is the bonus. Okay, and for those of you who are under, who don't understand that, that would be whoever has the largest gap, and it would be the loser on that side. So, in in if it's you know an eighty point gap, and that's the largest gap in the league, it would go to yep. whoever was on the losing side. Yep. So good luck, or should and I no say, no tiebreakers this luck. time. No tiebreakers this time. And before we leave that segment, while we're on that week, we will get right into our Brett's Bust of the Week. Brett's Everyone's Bust. favorite segment. My favorite segment. Yep. Do you want to go first or shall I? I'll go first. My Brett's Bust of the Week, we were just over this matchup, is going to be Cole Beasley on Where's Casey? Um, this guy got you one and a half points. Um, yeah, that's not really that good. But the real kicker here, Matt, is that Buffalo scored like 35 points in this game. That is true. They did score. And you're telling me this guy only had one catch for five yards. That's pretty sleek. That is true. And some say it may be on his vaccination status. They may be starting to weed him out. Hey man, I wasn't going to bring it up, but whatever. All right. No worries. And that brings us into my Brett's Bust of the Week. And it's going to have to be Odell Beckham Jr. Ooh. 
who not only busted for Chuck, he busted for me because Chuck lost me this week's water bet. Yep. So, and you see he only had four points, two catches, 20 yards. And as you started earlier, how many po- how many uh, points did the Bills have? Like 35? Yeah. Well, yeah. the Browns had 42. Oh, wow. And uh, Odell Beckham only had two catches. Yeah, so, that's pretty And fishy. had he had one more catch for 18 yards, Chuck wins and yeah. I win. Yeah. So going to have to. Gonna have to call him my bust of the week here. All right, and now that we're done with that, a quick word from our sponsors. Hey Casey, you want a water or something? No, but if you have beer, that's all I drink. Sure do. Here you go. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Actually, uh, I'm thinking about doing this trade with my girlfriend. I give her Allen Robinson, she gives me Ryan Tannehill. What do you think? Definitely don't do that trade. All right, thank you for that. All right, no problem. Oh shit, I forgot I'm filming this ad. Hey guys, Casey Braves from Casey Braves Painting. I'm the cheapest li- licensed painter in town. As long as you don't mind the smoking and drinking. Make sure you don't forget, always take your smoke detectors down. And don't forget our slogan. We won't be at your house by seven, but I'll stay past midnight. All right, thank you from a word from from those sponsors. You know what? Might as well just before we leave, I'll get my uh, MVP of the week. Who is Michael? Oh wow! Because I'm giving him MVP of the week because a uh, shout out. He has just tied his total win record from last season with three. Wow! So we're right only now, week five. We are only in week, week five. Six. He has tied it. And he has, uh, he, he does think he is on the up and up, and I really hope he is. He is. And he uh, is. another another reason why he's the MVP is because he shows he's a real Dolphins fan by sticking with those Dolphins players. Not only does he keep them on his team, he keeps them in his lineup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good things are going to happen when you got Dolphins players on your lineup. Look, look even Alain Damar is agreeing. Yep. See? All righty. So, again, shout out to my brother, Michael, MVP of the week. Shout out to my head coach. Yes, Good yes. job, Michael. All right, and before we get into our uh, week six preview, I just want to, you know, make a couple little side notes. My, the producers might get mad because they, like, they don't like me giving out free advice. But like I said, I'm here. I feel like I'm always the best. So I need to give as much advice as I can. And so that's the only chance that you can take me down. So, you know, if you can take it, if you want it, if not, you don't have to. But uh, yeah, one little piece of advice that I like to give everybody is take your Thursday night players out of the flex position. Because in case you ever need to pivot, if they're in, you know, even if it, it looks crazy to switch you know, like Dalvin Cook with somebody that's playing Thursday night, but you still switch them because you know you're not going to bench Dalvin Cook. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. That should be like fantasy football 101 there, folks. That's it. That's it. Also, too, I want to just maybe point out uh, some people don't know how to use the waivers, I guess. We do have uh, every Tuesday night when the, the, the actual waiver – process happens between Tuesday and Wednesday. So final waivers are only to be placed by Tuesday if you want any of the, the top priorities. Yeah. And we do have a quick uh, shout out. The report said this week's two top priorities were um, 
Devontae Booker, who we shouted out the other day. Yeah. And Daryl Williams from the Kansas City Chiefs. And we do have that Angel was the lucky claim winner of Daryl Williams. And Sushi Dick Fuck House, sorry, Sushi Dick Fuck FSU House is uh, the lucky winner of Devontae Booker. Nice. And we, uh, we don't know really what happened, but Devontae Booker is the backup for Saquon, and Angel does own Saquon. So she went Ooh. she went the other route and instead took the Kansas City backup, and we don't know why. Maybe we'll have to Well, say Clyde that. is out, isn't he? He is, but so is uh, Saquon. True that also. Yes, yes. So I want to just, you know, some people, seems like they're not paying attention. Maybe they are, maybe they know what they're doing. I don't know, but again, I'm here to teach all and this is a league this is a league of uh veterans. This is a big boy league, all right? Champions. Or big girl league also. This is the big leagues right here. Yes. This is I the mean, official we have our podcast address. for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? Yes, like, yes. This is So even if it's really not a big league, league, you should look at it as a big league if you're in it. Because we're yeah. we're trying to be the best commission out there and you know, just make it fun, as fun as I can for you guys. Think about it. They don't have G League teams in the NBA, right? Exactly. Also, give it up. I know we've already had a sponsor on. Give it up for our, you know, OG sponsor. We mentioned the plug, but really, you can't have the plug without having Grava either. Yes, yes. Yeah. Also, shout out to, to Grava. Yes, shout out. We have to just shout them out because they are not our sponsor. But we do hope to uh, get them one day. So, again, not our sponsor, but we do hope to get them. It's the opposite of a sponsor, really, because sponsor would imply they pay us. Yes. yes. Yeah. So well, whatever the opposite of that yes. is. Yeah. So. Thank you for that one. Thank you for that one. And also, too, before we forget, I can't really play as long of it, but I do want to give a quick shout out to the fifth pick with his song that he chose for the draft. And that will be The Champ Is Here by Joel Santana. And that's all we can play, but like I who said- Who was that? That was Joel Santana no, with The Champ Is Here. That is Chris. Chris, champ, how champ. did I know? Why did you have to ask? Champ, Why did I have to champ. turn around? Hopefully we cut that. Champ, champ, champ. That's what he hopes to be. He hopes to be the triple C of this league. Yeah, he hopes. But, uh, that's Who's going to stop him? That's my question. Well, we do have a lot of votes in, and it does say that Straw Hat Pirates is the favorite to take him down this year. People are voting crazy style right now on Twitter. They are, they yeah. are choosing the underdog. If it's one thing about Straw Hat Pirates, they're going with the co-host and they're going Yeah, with. they have a strong hairline, so yeah. they can take it. All right, so let us get into our week six matchup preview. Let's do it. And I will let you take this one off because, of course, it is maybe my boys, but it is your boys, too. Yeah, we got the Straw Hat Pirates looking to keep this win streak alive versus Lambeau Calrissian. And Matt, it is a battle of brothers here. It's you versus Michael. Um, my pick to win, once again, I want to see everybody voting, yes, on, these, voting on these voting. matchups. Because right now it says 71% favored me and 29% underdog. Yeah, yeah, so I'm going to... Wait, have you picked to win yet? Have you picked to win yet? I have not picked to win yet. So if that is correct, then my then based on what it's showing me, one person has in fact picked. Oh, awesome. However, pick to win this matchup right now live, and I am picking Straw Hat Pirates, of course. No, wait, this is my this account. Bit. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think I clicked anyway. I click it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yes. And that did not change at all. Well, anyway. I want to know, I wonder if that will change it with everybody's voting, but I think that's just Yahoo's fucking Yahoo's projections. projections oh. here. 
I see what you mean. But uh, we will see here, and uh, you know what, man? I don't, I don't like to talk too much. My team, like I said, is still, still a couple little injuries on my team. But yeah, my team is probably gonna decimate this kid. Listen, I know you're excited and everything, but I mean, this guy's got DK Metcalf, man. Come on. I mean, I guess. Do you know who's throwing to G to, to DK Metcalf? Who was that? Do you know? No. Who's that player? Who is that player? Time for our weekly segment. Who's, who's that, that player? player? Who is who DK is Metcalf's the, quarterback? Who's the quarterback for DK Metcalf right now? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say, is it is it Mike Glennon? That is incorrect. Okay. Would you like another guess? Yes, I would. Go ahead. Can you give me a hint? Um, is this player a rookie? No. Been around for a few years. So I'm going to say that the backup for Russell Wilson and thus the current starter for the Seahawks is going to be Josh Rosen. That is a crazy guess and no incorrect again. Okay, then I do not know. And it will be Geno Smith. Geno Smith, wow. I did not know he was still in the league. <clears throat> yes, yes. He did come into the game. I don't know how the stats in front of me, but he didn't do that bad. But as we all know, Geno, we uh, we don't know how long he can sustain it. So. Hey, long live Miramar High School, baby Geno. The Patriots, the Miramar Patriots. I, see, I hear that. I hear that. Speaking of Patriots, there's none here yep. besides the same guy you keep telling Michael not to keep in his life. Yeah, Jacoby Myers, bye-bye. <laughs> He's still in the lineup, but I'm calling it here. My team is finally going to all click together, and I will break 200 points this week. Okay, we'll see if that happens, although not likely. All right. Next matchup, we have... So we do have you, of course, picking Michael. Oh, I do pick Michael, yes. We can make this our water bed if you want. I'm down. Let's do it. Water bed right here, folks. Right here, folks. Water bed. Live on the podcast. Live. And so now we have Matt Top, John Bottom. Terry's looking for a win here. Uh, they desperately need to, desperately need to turn this season around. But they happen to be going up against ABC and BNB, who really uh, has been putting up some points as of late. And they are on a, if I'm not mistaken, they are on a three-game winning streak right now. Yep. Yep, crazy. So you got people like Lamar Jackson, Jamar Chase, Naheem Hines, I mean, Najee Harris, I can't read, uh, Austin Eckler also on this team. This is a stacked team. Um, I really... Uh, want to pick Terry to win this game, but the way things have been going lately, I cannot do that with a sound mind. It could be hard. It could be hard. And I do I do want to pick Terry as well, and uh, I am going to pick Terry. Okay. I am going to pick Terry to win this okay, game. Okay, there you have it, folks. Loyal to the end. I do not – I do not – Um, I do not see – she She needs to win much more. Yeah, she does need this win. Um. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I do have faith that Casey will get this one. This squad is just too stacked. Yes, yes. And I do uh, I do want think, I don't know if she should keep Ryan Tannehill in or maybe hit the waiver wire up for another quarterback. Listen, I don't know who's out there, but um, Geno Smith is available. He is probably available. But I do have in front of me Teddy Bridgewater. Would you start Teddy Bridgewater over Ryan Tannehill? Um, Teddy Bridgewater is coming back from a concussion, yes? Yes. And he plays the Raiders this week. And he plays the Raiders. I would take that matchup because the Raiders are in disarray right now. They don't they know are. what the fuck is going on. They are, they are. And that is always a rivalry matchup, so. Yeah. They have a lot of film on them. Yes, and we do also, we, we have Baker Mayfield playing Arizona. 
Baker Mayfield playing Arizona. Baker Mayfield is a force to be reckoned with. This dude just puts up points. I fuck with Baker Mayfield, man. Yes, yes. He might not be the best quarterback out there, but, man, that dude is just Riley tough. So tough what about guy. him? Would you start him over Ryan Tannehill? I probably. Who's Ryan Tannehill playing? Ryan Tannehill plays the Buffalo Bills. Then, yeah, probably. Yeah. All right, all right. So, yeah, man. Ryan Tannehill might not be the best choice in this scenario. Um, or you may even want to trade. Since might the, even want to trade. Since we did have some new rule changes and your trade could just go through in an hour if it's a simple one. Yeah, maybe. Um, also, you for some reason have Brandon Bolden on your bench. This player shouldn't even be on a team in this league. Um, you would have an extra bench spot, really, if you dropped him. So I would just probably do something with that. All right. All right. I mean, yeah. if you if you don't have that much, he is not that bad to hold since people are injured on your team. Listen, man. Nah. And he's a Patriots lifer, bro. Nah. He betrayed us and went to the Dolphins recently, so fuck him. I mean, you know we oh, they always betray each other and go everywhere. Yeah. All right, well, let's get right into our next matchup, which is – oh, so we, we are both taking Terry there? I am taking Casey. You are taking Casey. Sorry, Terry. No worries. But we have Alt Zaddy here versus Biting Qualms here. Um, Angel has been on a win streak. Alt Zaddy has been winning as well. This is going to be a tough matchup to pick because I think both teams are pretty much there with each other in terms of talent. But then again, you have the crazy discrepancy in their rankings. Alt Zaddy is second in the league. Did you just say both of their teams are equal on talent? Yes. Have you taken a look at her starting running backs? Yes, I have. And it's some dude named C. Hubbard. And then it's some dude named <laughs> Kay Gainwell. Yeah, they both could yeah. be liable players on Who's That Player. They both could be, probably would have been perfect candidates for Who's That Player, uh, but um, I would not have gotten them, really. I did not get the player of the week, the Who's That Player, anyway. You did but, not. Um, you would not have got them. And I almost did use Chuba Hubbard this week, even though I did mention him to you last week. You did, and I still don't know I, I who that guy is. I didn't think you would. Yep. Um, and we do see these projections here are still favoring John, and he has an empty spot in his lineup, so we don't know. We need uh, we need Angel to get some running back help. Well, she actually was the lucky the lucky winner of yet another claim with uh, Daryl Williams, so she will put him in her lineup pretty soon. Yeah, but you know she also has some. Um, unfortunate events with Saquon Barkley. So this team could be much better if these players somehow are able to play. Um, yeah. Oh, and she also has Chris Carson. So Chris Carson, back, she will. will be fine. That's what I'm saying. Um, as the team stand right now, as these rosters and starting lineups are set right now, I would have to go with Alt Zaddy, I believe. All right, all right. Well, we I, I do think Angel is going to change up her, her ways, and I will take Angel on this one. The next matchup we're going to preview is going to be Rachel Ghoul's Super Slump Sleep Team versus Triple X Donkey House. Yes, yes. Yes. And Matt, do, what do you have to say about this match? I do say my boy won't be his first, won't be his last, but Sean, he is going to come out on top on this one. Okay, I see why you would say that because the Yahoo is projecting him to win this game. Um, I do see that House has three empty slots on this roster. I would expect this roster to change in the near future. I see Josh Gordon is in the starting lineup. I would expect that to change within the near future. Um, but I am going to go with House in this matchup simply because Rachel Gould's super slump team has been underperforming week after week, and they just cannot be trusted at this point. All right, all right. I like it, I like it. And I don't know if we're doing this on purpose or not, but we are so far picking every single game differently. No, we both picked the last one the same. Who? No, I thought you picked John. Yeah, you didn't pick John? No, I picked him. Oh, okay. You going down, boy. You're going down, boy.
I don't even want to mention this next team coming up, so I'm going to let you take this one. All right, and I understand why you don't want to mention, but it is manifesting a hairline versus the Dito. And, yeah, your hair took a Dito, so yeah, went back in somewhere. Yeah. And this, for some reason... Well, talk about hairlines. How's that ankle feeling, Chris? Talk about a hairline fracture. Yeah. Oh, man, I don't... That's a low blow there, but we'll see. Hey, man. And we do see over he here. He went high, I went low. Hey. And we do see Chris does have a couple people that may not be playing still in his lineup. But even with that, looking at Chris's team, I do understand how he is 5-0. and I know what you mean there. And looking at the Dito's team... I could definitely see how this might be the only team right now, this moment, who has a chance versus manifesting a hairline. And yes, we have been heard that this was an anticipated matchup, and uh, as they call it, the clash of the Chris's. Clash of the Chris's. This is for all the marbles. We're going to see who's the real Chris, who's the top Chris in this league. There can only be room for one. Yes, I mean, we can't really declare the winner of this matchup, the top Chris, as champ champ is Chris. Right. So, but... But is it Chris, a, Chris? Yes. Exactly. Chris is Chris, and then Chris would be Chris. Yes. But... Right. In this, in this case, Chris has to be Chris, which is champ champ. Right. Champ champ Chris. Yes. And he, he can't just be dethroned as the, the top Chris of the league with one loss, but he will be... A lot of uh, back and forth after this one. Right. Um, I know being champ champ is a big responsibility. And trying to be triple champ is probably his main goal right now. But you got to take it week by week. And this week, I feel like he's probably still going to be the top Chris in charge. Oh, my God. He, is, he has took him. Even with the name change and picture and everything. Yes, I don't feel good about it, but sometimes you have to do what feels uncomfortable. Yes, yes. And for those of you who have not seen Chris's newly changed picture, here it is. Actually, it's right there. Anyways, moving so, on. And I will... I guess do this one on purpose. If not, maybe I would have took him anyways, but I will go with Chuck on this one. Ooh. That brings us to our last matchup preview of the week. That's going to be the plain old Robbies versus where is Casey? Yes, yes. And to put this in perspective, as you guys may have seen from previous podcasts and this one, Chris and Lorenzo, are in fact very good friends, so there will be very much back and forth between them. Very anticipated podcast when Chris is a guest. So if you, to put it in perspective for those out there, James and Rob would be Chris and Lorenzo, for those of you who do not know them. Okay. So they are very good friends, and uh, so I'm sure they have already hit the books, hit the ground running, just as me and John do every Monday when we play, even though he forgot last week and still lost to me. I think yeah. this season I'm up on like three to one or two to one, so we'll see. I see, I see. But uh, yeah, so let's get right into James with Where's Casey versus Robbie with Robbie. What the fuck, bro? You already know my pick. I'm picking it before you. You can t- you can join me with my pick if you want, but picking Where's Casey because, bro, your name change. Please change your name. (laughs) I see, I see. I'm going to actually take a look at these lineups real quick. And I do have to say that on first glance, I am leaning towards Where's Casey as well. Because I see names like Leonard Fournette. I see A.J. Brown, Antonio Brown, Cooper Cup of Coffee. These types of players have been getting points. And to be honest, even though Where's Casey got spanked this previous week, I do think they're going to bounce back, and I think I will have to pick them as well today. I'm joining you. All right, that is fine. We do have a lot of every other game different, so 
let's take the easy win here because, like I said, fantasy is the game. Yes. And uh, no name change is lame. Yep. So please change that name. You would get kicked out of some leagues, man. If they would think you were inactive. For not and listen, I want to rule that out happening here. This dude just banned vetoes earlier in this podcast. Anything could happen, really. Oh, yes, yes. And I'm, th- I'm cooking up something in this brain. I can't wait to see what rule change he makes next week. Yes, and please do not get that started because they love they no. love Matt's rule change of the week. <laughs> you know what to do, producers. No, bro, my oh, last year last year my fucking thing got like my, my league was just chaos last year. And that was that was like the whole ongoing thing, like, oh, Oh, well, Matt rule is going to be implemented this week because they, like, said I was changing the rules. Right. Because it was so many new people that they didn't know the rules of my league. Wow. True. So that's mainly what it boiled down to. But it was just funny, so that's why. I guess. And that was, that was like, the whole ongoing thing. Like, oh, oh well, Matt rule is going to be implemented this week because they, like, mm-hmm. said I was changing the rules. Right. Because it was so many new people that they didn't know the rules of my league. Wow. True. So that's mainly what it boiled down to. But it was just funny, so that's why. I can say maybe like, maybe this will even end up in the podcast. But yeah, that was a it was a it was a rough year last year. A lot of a lot of combinations made it rough. But this year we're on we're on to new and better things. Definitely. We are a trade league. We want these trades to start flowing like yes. that little sweet clitoris when you're humming on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that comparison, yes. Exactly what you want. Spoken like a true alt zaddy customer. Yes, and as you know, Thug Dog is a proud user as well. Yep. All right, and uh, before we get into my starts of the week, we uh, are going to not forget everyone's actual favorite segment. I know I say this a lot. I'm going to start trying to think more before I speak and uh you know that's the plug's fault but uh we'll keep it going and, uh, yeah exactly so before we get into my starts of the week I will uh give you guys your favorite favorite segment and that is gonna be Lolo's Spanish word of the week Bamanos. All right, everyone, welcome to Lolo's Spanish Word of the Week. We're going to do a little recap first just to see where we've gotten to up until this point with the Spanish Word of the Week. Remember, you do need to start practicing these. We are going to have a bonus in the bonus hat. Keep in mind that there's going to be a new bonus in the hat that's going to be the first person to request to be live on Spanish Word of the Week, tested live on Spanish Word of the Week. That could be you, and that could be your bonus if you do it. So, Matt, up until this point, we've had a few words of the week. These words have been touchdown, touchdown, football, football, sorry, football americano. Correct. And we've had podcast. 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 Right, exactly. So now it brings us to this week's Spanish Word of the Week. Now, we want our podcast to be very inclusive, so we're not going to discriminate against other sports. This is a fantasy football-centered podcast, but we're going to delve into the world of baseball for just one quick segment. And I thought it was fitting since we have the greatest hitter of all time, Ted Williams, just chilling right here to bring up baseball. Our Spanish word of the week this week is home run. Okay, okay. Home run in Spanish is honron. So with this, we're going to keep the spirit here in Lolo's Spanish word of the week. And we're going to say, Matt, can you say honron? 
Okay. I was already uh, a little skeptical when you said it, but can you give it to me one more time? So the word home run or the term home run is said honron. All right. Honron. Honron. Try to roll that R if you it can. Honron. Honron. We're getting there, folks. We're getting there. So while Mac, while Matt practices that to himself a little bit. So to recap, we've had touchdown, football, podcast, and now home run as our Spanish words of the week. Now, I don't think we can form a sentence with all of those words because you got football, you got home run. It wouldn't really, it wouldn't really fit. So I'm just going to ask you to, Matt, can you form a sentence in Spanish using the word home run? You can work in podcast if you'd like. You don't have to, but can you get a home run into a sentence in Spanish? Well, I'm not prepared, and uh, maybe I'll start preparing for these Spanish words myself since I am going to be on them frequently but we will give it a quick try with a simple sentence and i'm gonna go ted ted william hit hard run um see see ted ted williams is a mucho home run Ted Ruth, mucho home. <laughs> okay, vamos a hacer esto, Matt. Vamos a hacer esto, Matt. We're going to take Spanish Word of the Week to a whole new level. I'm not going to speak English. And we're going to have a discussion centered around home run real quick. So you just said Babe Ruth, mucho home run. Babe Ruth. Hizo mucho jonrón, pero quién hizo más jonrón? Babe Ruth or Big Papi? Hmm. Didn't Big Papi just beat him? Yo no sé. Can you form a sentence around Big Papi and Babe Ruth with home runs? Hmm. Big Poppy. Big Poppy, mucho, mucho, run, run, bear roof. <laughs> I am going to start practicing these. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. There you have it, folks. That's this week's Spanish word of the week. Once again, home run is con run, as in run. con run, as con in run. Big Poppy tiene mucho con run. Big Papi tiene mucho jonrón. Big Papi tiene mucho jonrón. Yep, yep. What does that mean? That means Big Papi has the most home runs. Has a lot of home runs. Has, a lot of has many home runs. Mucho, is mucho, many. many. Yes, I know. He has many home runs. I don't know how many exactly. I believe over 400, if I'm not mistaken. But right. decent amount, decent amount. And that's been this week's Spanish word of the week. Dale, dale. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I know we got a lot of uh, good feedback from last week's. That was yeah. that was uh, their I favorite think, so far. I think we're making real progress here on yes. the Spanish Word of the Week. So yes, say. yes. And uh, I wish uh, I should have been smarter and known. Had I have known, I was going to have had the chance to get on there. I would have been practicing these Spanish words. So right. who right. knows? Maybe one of you could end up on here. So make sure you're practicing those Spanish words. Yeah, if you need to be practicing these words, please, like we said last time, send your videos or your audio clips of you practicing the Spanish words of the week, forming your own sentences, either to our email, which is wookiesburgpod at gmail.com, or you can just DM it to us on any social media platform, really. And believe it or not, that is actually, I'm going to write it as a new bonus in, and it is going to get dropped into there, and pulled out of the hat will be the first person to volunteer to film a live Spanish word of the week. We'll win the $10 weekly bonus if it's drawn from that. Yep, you heard it here first. That could be you. So practice those words. 
Yes, yes. I'm gonna get we're gonna get crazy with these bonuses. Yes. All right, so I'll just get right into my my segment, starts of the week. Uh I'm just, like I said, man, I'm still new to this, still busy. We're still trying to get everything down pat with the podcast, with everything, with just life and everything, you know, so I'm getting there. You gotta you gotta bear with me, but uh I am gonna st- if 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 anybody does end up not playing for my start of the week, I will post an update into Twitter so you will see the updates there on Twitter of any of my changes. And also there I will start posting my sleepers of the week. Okay. And uh, any a couple other new little things more advice wise for anybody who needs it. I'm gonna start you know posting small small clips on. YouTube and, and stuff. So nice. Be on the lookout for those things. So I'll get right into my starts of the week this week. And we have Matthew Stafford, who is playing the Giants this week. And I do think he is going to throw for about 350 yards and four touchdowns. Right, right. Solid pick, solid pick. Yes, yes. And move right down to wide receiver. And we have. Chris Godwin, who I think is going to pull in about 10 catches and go well over 100 yards. And then if he ends up with a touchdown, that's just a little added bonus. Yep. yep. But we'll see. We'll see. So, and then we have Joe Mixon playing the Lions. We all know anybody playing the Lions has a They're field. about to score a lot. Yeah, so my guy, he is going to come through for me this week. And he is going to perform. And then we go right on to tight end. Who you guys can call me crazy. I have Mike Kosecki as my start of the week for tight end. I think he's going to have the opportunity, and it's all going to rely on him, but he will see over 12 targets. I'm calling it. Wow. Yes, yes. And then I also I have a prediction. Yes, yes. And it's funny because this start of the week was actually a free agent in multiple, multiple leagues this week, and nobody even known it. Who's that? Nick Folk. Nick motherfucking Folk. Yes. There was only one league he was not a free agent in, and that is the longest running league, Thug Dog. Because your boy picked him up. Yes, yes. And maybe and nobody knows, but as of the first five weeks, he is the leading scorer for the kicker position. Yep, yep. Now, this guy is old as fuck. I remember this dude kicking for the Jets and for the Cowboys way back in the day. Yes, he's kicked for it's a been on the pages years. for a couple of years now, and, man, this dude still got it. He got it, and I think he would just continue the trend, and he's going. And uh, I do have, for my start of the week for defense, will be the Colts defense. And I, I knew there was a reason I was holding them, and it is going to be this week. They are playing the Texans. The Texans. And I feel like probably a lot of starts of the week on defense will be the team playing the Texans. So as long as you're not the Patriots and shit the bed, yeah. it will be a good start against the Texans. Yep. I do believe. So, and then the last one, the only one I've been hitting on this week, my defensive start of the week, is we have a weird shocker here because he was dropped. And we have Isaiah Simmons. Wow. From the Arizona Cardinals. Solid pickup. Yes, yes. And you can thank the person that dropped him for the delayed release of this episode because I have to make sure nobody sees this so that I can attempt to pick up Isaiah Simmons. Yes, please do that. <laughs> yes, yes. So, oh, no, I already – well, I would never claim a defensive player with a waiver. That's a waste. I mean, again – Hey man, you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. A little free advice from Matt. Free advice from Matt. Yes, yes. Also, that is my start of the week this week. So, also I like to, like I said before, the first two starts of the week were fake. I was just messing with you guys to make you start them, and hopefully make your team lose against me. Yes. Because those episodes were not released to the public. Yes. So this one's getting out there, and these are my real starts, and I believe, I believe I, I, I believe uh, I'm at least gonna get more than one this week. We'll see. We'll see. 
All right, and just a, another quick reminder, like we said before, we do have our, our movie premiere. And as soon as this podcast ends, you will see that premiere roll. So make yeah. sure you stay tuned for that. We are very excited about this trailer. We've heard great things. Can't wait to see it. It's coming up real soon. As soon as this podcast is over, coming yes, up real yes. soon. And, you know, we're just about there. You know, we uh, just a quick reminder. Like we said, we are going to be hitting the airways pretty soon. We have already officially hit all social media accounts. We have not we're really taking over. posted much to them yet, but we're there. We're getting started. I'm learning how to use it all. You know, we're new to this. We're just yeah. we're just everyday working people just trying to have some fun for my league and for anyone else out there who enjoys it. But before we go, another quick reminder, every Sunday I am live at 1230 answering any last minute fantasy questions. Any questions at all, stardom, sit whatever, whatever you need. Got, yes, whatever you need. I'm answering them. Um, you know, if you want to try to win some extra money on a Thursday, Sunday, or Monday, and join up the join the draft the draft kings the draft king. They only need to email me if you want that link. It's only a dollar, dollar per entry every time. If you want dollar per entry, you can win a couple please, bucks. Another please uh, on another note on that. Actually, I'm trying to get everybody as soon as you go and make a lineup. We're all adults here. It's just a dollar. As soon as you make the lineup. Just send me the money so that this way when I send the winner the money, it's not coming out of my pocket. No. That's it. We'll just make it simple. We're yep. cutting out the middleman of DraftKings. And- as soon as you place the bet, make the money or whatever. Yeah. And then also, and last reminder, all water bets will be solely on Instagram from now on. So if you want to see those, you will have to see them on Instagram. Yeah, follow us, Wookiesburg underscore podcast on Instagram. Yes, yes. And uh, now that we are done, you know, everybody uh, loves to know and wait to finally what we're going to get taken out on. And it is, of course, Matt, Maddie's Tweet of the Week. Maddie's Tweet of the Week. And on this day in on Matt history, this day in Matt's history, 2013 to be quite specific. We have the following announcement from Matthew to the Twitter sphere. It reads, I wish you could see inside me. Good night, everyone. Bye. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around for the episode. Stay tuned for this movie trailer. Yes. I'm Lolo Boss. Thug Dog. Thug Dog. And we're out. We're out. What's the password? Graba. You may answer. Please have a seat. Thank you.
So, you here for the grabba? Yeah, I'm here for the grabba. Do you have any? Do I have any? Oh, yeah. So, I'll take one of those grabba. So, what do you offer in return? I have this. You got yourself a deal. Thanks. Anytime. Hey, this isn't Grava. This is a marshmallow. Not enough grabber for the both of us. Then take this. Ah! What did you give me? Did you turn me into a fucking pickle?